Hello, it's Sarah, and welcome to 2017. It's already the second. I'm going to sit back here so I don't get too close. Um, yeah, January 2nd, 2017. Um, I have not had much of a mojo, guys, although Joe's been off for two weeks, so I have been spending the majority of my time with him, and Christmas and New Year's and doing all that family stuff, so... Tomorrow, he goes back to work, so I will hopefully get back to work, too, in the craft room. Um, so, I wanted to just say Happy New Year, and listen, I know 2016 was tough on a lot of people. There was the, the election, kind of, and I got wrapped up in it myself, but it's over now. All that negativity, leave it in 2016. Um... Donald Trump is the president, and I didn't vote for him, but a lot of people did, so let's just support him as best we can, and listen, we can't control that. That has, I'm, I'm good. I had a good year, 2016. You know, a lot of stuff happened. What is it with me that I just, I, I am such an optimist, because, yeah, bad shit happened to me. Um, we had... We had our struggles, yes, we did, but I'm fine, and you rise above them, you deal with them, and you move on, and so I'm looking forward to, to 2017, whatever 2017 brings, uh, and you should too, just try to be positive, don't focus on negativity, what's the point, there's too many good things out there, so, um, you know, that being said, Hopefully, my mojo will kick back in because it's been, you know what else I wanted to say? I do have um, thyroid disease now. This has been, it's been at least a year that I've been taking medicine for hypothyroid. And hypothyroid is um, your thyroid gland doesn't create enough uh, hormone to keep, it's, it's to boost your metabolism and I don't know, like there's things like hair loss and dry skin or side effects. I haven't really had any side effects except for the tired feeling. I am very lethargic. Like I just, I could just stay in bed all day, which is not good. And so the, I think that affects your mojo. And I, um, I'm going to check, I've been check, keeping a check on it. So because my medicine just had to go up the last time I was there. So I don't know what's going to go on with that, but. Um, that is a, it's a pain in the ass, you know? Um, other than that, oh, I, I had an earache, so let's just get all my aches and pains out of the way. I did have an earache, and so that's finally coming around, too. Um, so hopefully I'll be feeling better, and I'll be able to feel, uh, I'll be inspired to make videos for you guys. Um, because I do feel like I still have things to share. Now, that being said, this year... Last year I took Lifebook. Lifebook is a year-long crafty retreat online. And um, it's sponsored by Tamara Laporte, or I don't know if it's sponsored by her, but I think she created it. And she's actually English too, uh, because I'm going to be taking Wonderlust this year. That's another year-long um, online retreat type thing where... Um, Every month, now in Lifebook, because I'm very unfamiliar with Wonderlust, but there were some teachers that I really wanted to take from. Um, I think her name's Anna Dubrovka. My neighbor's name is Dubrovka, so I might be getting the last name mixed up with her name. Anna. Anyway, you guys all know she's a wonderful mixed media artist. Andy Skinner. Kate Crane is another one. I took her some of her classes online uh, at Vimeo. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to try this one. Now, Tamara's is very much, um, she has a theme every month, and then her artists kind of base their uh, creation on that theme. Um, and a lot of it having to do with wellness and meditation and things like that. So I'm curious about what Wonderlust's um, kind of uh, curriculum is going to be based on. Like how they're going to, oh, it's this side. Sorry, my hair grew out. Sorry, I'm very distracted. Um, anywho, 2015, I took Polymer Clay Adventure. And I loved Polymer Clay Adventure. And I think you guys would love it too. I mean, 
they change it every year. I think a lot of the same artists uh, do videos for them and do classes and they change it up, but I really, I really enjoyed it. Um, and then I did Wonderlust, I'm sorry, Lifebook in 2016, and now I'm going to do Wonderlust in 2017. It's about 100 bucks. All of them are $100, so they're very reasonable, and um, I would recommend if you guys love taking classes, which I do, um, and you can afford it, and it's in the budget, to, to try one, um, don't do more than one, because I barely got through, I think I watched all the videos on here, but I didn't do the projects. I did, I only did maybe seven, and there were at least 24. So I really slacked, um, but I did watch them. I watched, I think I would say I watched all of the classes, um, but I just didn't do them all, and I wish I'd done more. And I think they are still available now, even though it's 2017, and they're moving on to their 2017 classes. They're, she has Lifebook 2017, so, um, I still have access to the videos, uh, and, and I just wish there was enough time in the day, and I need to, you know, get motivated here, too. But anyway, and then that being said, uh, class-wise, that's that. Um, I also just got this book. This is um, Renee Mullins. She's one of my faves because these are just, I love her artwork. That's really what I love about it. I just painted the Santa. And I did order her website also order um, offers the wood pieces so you can get the wood along with it. But I happened to find these little um, in my stash I had from, from somewhere, I forget. I've had wood forever. These little tag shaped uh, pieces of wood and they're just the right size. So I painted the little Santa on here. I did this yesterday. I it was football day so I was able to... Um, sneak off to the craft room. Uh, yeah, and so I want to continue painting because I do feel like I have knowledge in that area to offer to you guys. Other than that, I'm, le I'm still learning so much from you guys and I'm really out of the loop um, pretty much with paper crafting. I'm not in the, in the loop as much with that anymore. I haven't been watching as many paper crafting videos. Um, but mixed media, I'm still very much interested in mixed media and learning more about it and then um, p adding my decorative painting to mixed media. So I want to try and work on that this year. What else? Uh, probably putting up a couple more classes on Vimeo. Thank you guys, all of you who took my class or have taken my class, my art doll class on Vimeo. I still have kits available. And I'm um, hoping to add a couple more classes to Vimeo. I want to do my, um, my gentleman, my steampunk gentleman, and I want to do some polymer clay. I have a polymer clay applique class that I want to post up there. Haven't done it yet, but that's what this year holds. So I'm looking forward to those things. And um, what else, Kiwi? Is that it? Right? I think I just wanted to say Happy New Year. And I know it's been a while, and I miss you guys, but I just haven't had a mojo, and, uh, you know, it was the holidays, but let's put all, let's put old acquaintance be forgot. I don't know what that means, but let's just forget about 2016 and be positive and enjoy life, because that's all you can do. You only get one, and uh, I hope you guys will try and do that, too. All right? And as always, thank you so much for watching.